Important information about cheerleading, a change of date for when snowball tickets go on sale, and the movement wants you to be courteous. I'm your host, Angel Glickman. First up today is the weather. It may look nice outside today, but tomorrow we'll see a different kind of bad weather. While it won't snow, we could see some storms and high winds, even the possibility of tornadoes tomorrow. We'll have more on what to expect and when in the Red Devil forecast. Now, let's look at some announcements. Juniors, are you interested in cadet teaching next year? Maybe you'd like to help out one of your favorite elementary teachers. Then make sure you talk to your counselor during scheduling or get more information from Ms. Ramsey in room C-127. If you're interested in being a cheerleader for next school year, then you need to pick up an application in the athletic office. Applications must be turned in by March 10th to be considered. It's time to sign up for the next session of driver's training. The link will hold a mandatory meeting for anyone thinking about taking driver's training this spring. The meeting will be Thursday, February 27th in the cafeteria starting at 5.30. If you want to take driver's training in the spring, you must attend this meeting with a parent. Class classes start March 3rd, cost is $390. Seniors, it's time to start looking at completing your FAFSA online, the free application for federal student aid. You and your parents should have your taxes complete before filling out the form, and if you need help, RHS will be holding sessions to help you and your parents fill out the FAFSA. The first session is February 26th, and the second will be March 6th. The, de the deadline for filing your FAFSA is March 10th. Seniors, it's time to sign up for Honors and Awards. There are over 65 local scholarships available through this program. See Mrs. Porter for an application packet or more information. Juniors, want to do a professional career internship next year? Now's the time to consider it before you sign up for next year's schedule. See Ms. Runnels or your counselor for more info. Seniors who are 18, if you would like to have a Morris Reeves library card, then stop by the RHS library to fill out an application. Cards will then be distributed here at RHS. See Mrs. Christ in the library for more info. There's still time to sign up for prom, even if you haven't turned in a down payment. Remember, full payment is $50 and must be in by April 25th. See Mrs. Van Meter for more info or to make your payment. Make sure you join the Red Devil Players at Civic Hall for their annual musical this weekend as they perform Cinderella, the Enchanted Edition. Showtimes are Saturday night at 7 p.m. and Sunday afternoon at 2. Tickets are $5 for students. It's time to register for the third annual Shamrock 5K and 10K Walk Run. The cost is only $10 for students, and that includes a t-shirt. Register online at speedyfeet.com slash races. Snowball is a week from this Saturday on March 1st. Tickets were to go on sale Wednesday, but it has been changed to Thursday. Tickets will cost $10 for a single and $20 for a couple. If you're looking for a dress for Snowball, or maybe some good clothes for a job interview, remember the RHS Prom Store Address for Success can help. It's open by appointment. Just see Mrs. Crow in room R136 or call 973-3451. Now let's check the Red Devil forecast. Enjoy a beautiful taste of spring today as highs climb into the mid-40s under mostly sunny skies. Tonight, clouds start to move in, but we still stay above freezing for a change with lows in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, rain moves in along with even warmer temperatures. Highs will climb to about 60, and the warmer temperatures in the afternoon and early evening will set up a line of thunderstorms. Most won't happen until after we're home from school tomorrow, but still keep an eye out as some could be strong or even severe with heavy rains, high winds, and even possible tornadoes. The rain should finally clear out by just after midnight, but colder temperatures will move back in as the overnight low will fall back into the low 30s. And yes, there's a possibility of snow again this weekend, so keep watching later this week. As we close today, the movement's word for February is courteous. Make sure you're courteous this month and have a great day. All right. Oh, gosh. You know, the students at Richmond High School are so great. And, you know, but I really think, I really think they could all be a little bit more courteous to each other. That's it. That's it. I'll get a courtesy cop. Jordan Miller. Jordan Miller. Can you come here, please, right away? Jordan. Great. I need a huge favor, all right? Our students at Richmond High School are, they're awesome, they're great, but you know, I think we need to be a little bit more courteous to each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deputize you, and I am gonna deputize you as our February courtesy cop.
We're in high school, really. I mean, I can't, I, I don't understand this. We need the courtesy cop. electrons and add them together, two and three, that makes five. So when we draw the pattern, we're going to put five electrons around the nitrogen. And then when we talk about diatomic gases, it's going to be a triple bond where you've got three electrons being shared on both sides. So you get a triple bond. And of course, this is what we're looking at. The little known fact that a lot of these are going to be around them. It's nitrogen with a little bit of oxygen. If you ask people on the street, they'll say this is the oxygen. The oxygen is the oxygen. In fact, it's the oxygen. I'm curious, uh, what are you doing? Eating. <laughs> you, you think you can eat in class? I mean, I do it all the time. You want something to do? I think we're going to have to call the courtesy cop. I mean, I got to <laughs> What is this? It's a ticket for not being courteous, you uncourteous guy, you. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? 